Alabama 500 at Talladega Super Speedway. The final race before the championship. In this race, we decide the championship four. Eight playoff contenders enter this race, but only four will exit with a chance at the championship. Let's take a look at your drivers to watch for. Denny Hamlin starts on pole for today's race. He's a well-known super speedway ace. Be on the lookout for him this afternoon. Kyle Busch. Not really a super speedway ace, but he is a good pusher. So if you want anybody behind you, you're going to want Kyle Busch. Eric Almarola knows how to get it done on these super speedways. He won at Daytona earlier this year. And Jimmy Johnson, just outside of the championship four. Just two points back. He just needs to finish three spots ahead of fourth place Kyle Larson to make it in. He needs to watch for that 42 car and make sure he's at least three spots ahead of him so he can advance into the championship four. Now, it is time for the command. Drivers, start your engines! Cars fired up and are rolling off for 10 laps around this 2.66 mile super speedway. Now let's look at your starting lineup. On the pole is Danny Hamlin and to his outside is Martin Truex Jr. Then we have Kyle Busch and Eric Jones. Inside, row three, Bubba Wallace and to his outside, Eric Almarola. Then we have Joey Logano and Kyle Larson. Behind them, it's Brad Keselowski and Jimmy Johnson. Then it's Alex Bowman and Kurt Busch. Then we have Kevin Harvick. Lowest starting playoff contender alongside Matt Benedetto. Then it's Austin Dillon and Chase Elliott. Then it's Roush Fenway teammates Ryan Newman and Chris Busher. Towards the back, Cole Custer and William Byron. And rounding out the field is Ryan Blaney and Clinton Boyer. Ready to go racing and decide the championship four as they make the long journey down to the trioval and to the green flag Denny Hamlin holds on to the lead and will lead lap one as now Joe Gibbs has formed a single file line and is leading the pack around Talladega here they take lap four Joe Gibbs racing, one, two, three, four. Over around goes Kevin Harvick in the tri-oval. Caution is out. Let's see what happened. Oh, he just got bumped from behind by Cole Custer. That sent him around and into the grass. Playoff contender Kevin Harvick involved in an incident here at Talladega. But he's able to drive it away. There he is on pit road now. It's a tough break for him. He'll have to restart in the back. Ready to restart. On lap 6 out of 10 here at Talladega. Here they come down to the start finish line. Green flag is back out. Truex gets a good push from Eric Jones. And now Joe Gibbs has lined up once again. Gibbs, one, two, three, four. As the laps wind down here at Talladega. Oh! Around goes Martin Trex Jr. off the bumper of Kyle Busch. With two to go, the caution comes out. We'll be going into overtime. Let's see what happened. Oh, Kyle Busch just stepped out and Martin Truex Jr. blocked. Kyle Busch went back down low and Truex just blocked too late. Sent him spinning. He'll be able to drive it away. It's 
tough break for him. He'll have to restart in the back. Getting ready for what could be the final restart of this race. Overtime attempt number one. Will they make it to the finish or, or will we see another caution? Let's find out. Green flag is back out. Hamlin gets a good push from Eric Jones. Oh, and around Gil Kyle Bush and Eric Jones. Just like that, the caution is back out. And we'll have another restart. Let's take a look at what happened. Well, it's just a push that went wrong. Almirola getting into the back of Kyle Busch. Turning him sideways. Both go for a spin. But they're able to drive it away. Tough breaks for them. They'll have to restart in the back. Getting ready for overtime. Attempt number two. Hamlin and Almirola will be the front row. Here we go. It's crunch time. Green flag is back out. Almirola now in tandem with Denny Hamlin. White flag now. Oh, contact. Joey Logano's over. It's the big wreck on the final lap. Here they come. I think, Almirola, it might be Hamlin. Chaos on the last lap of the race, and we still don't even know who won. Scoring unofficial between Almirola and Hamlin as far as who crossed the finish line first. First, let's look at the elephant in the room. The big crash on the backstretch. Oh, Kazowski came down trying to make a move. Logano blocked too late. And basically what happened is a weight shift rapidly tur turns to the right and turns to the left and immediately goes back to the right. And here's the finish. They were side by side coming to the line. Scoring is now official. Eric Almirola has won the Alabama 500 at Talladega. Two super speedway wins for Eric Almirola this season. Let's take a look at that wreck again. Multiple cars involved. Lagana going up and over. And everyone else piled in. Oh, that's a big hit on the driver's side for Bubba Wallace. Bowman thought he made it through. But he hit Bubba. I just hope Bubba's okay. He took a big hit to the outside wall. And here comes Alex Bowman. Hits the right at the driver's side. Similar in fashion to what happened to Daniel Suarez last season at Martinsville when he got involved in a wreck with Joey Logano. A total of nine cars involved. See Matt Benedetto, Cole Custer, Brian Keselowski, Kurt Busch, Chase Elliott, Ryan Newman, Bubba Wallace, Alex Bowman. That's Joey Logano's car upside down. After all that carnage, Eric Almirola is the winner of the Alabama 500. So he'll take the checkered flag and burn it down here at Talladega. Congratulations to Cole Custer and Noah Gregson fan 41.9 and Eric Almirola for winning the Alabama 500. Here are your final results. Eric Almirola able to get the win here at Talladega. Denny Hamlin coming in a close second. Kyle Larson third. Jimmy Johnson fourth, and Ryan Blaney rounding out the top five. Kevin Harvick with the top ten, but I don't think that's going to be enough to advance to the championship round.
And here are your point standings after today. Eric Almarola maintains the points lead, 23 above the cutoff. Danny Hamlin, 10 above the cutoff. Kyle Larson, plus 7. And Jimmy Johnson is the last car to advance. Plus 4. Joey Logano, just 4 points below. Harvick, 6 points below. Kyle Busch, 12 points below. Kurt Busch, a crushing 34 points below the cutoff. It's a heartbreak for him and that one team. I hope you enjoyed this race. That's it for me. Peace. Brandon Gomez in the booth, signing out. Just one more race left in the Sprite Cup Series Season 2. We're off to Texas.